I'm in Dynamics 365 here. Let's have a look at a basic process of exporting some data. So I'm going to go to Data Management and from here I can have a look at the data entities. So we need to have an entity to be able to export the data which gives us the data structure. So um, if we don't see any entities here you'll get a message when you start um, up the or access this page. Um, if you go to the framework parameters for example um, you'll see that there's a button to refresh the entities list so if, if for some reason um, the at the back end a new entity has been added you can run the refresh list here but um, in this case the entity list is refresh and let's say we want to export some data so I'm going to hit the export button and let's say we want to export fixed um, assets for example. So from here I can pick the data um, target data format. Now this needs to have been created in the setup so in this particular case I've got a CSV uh, format then we need to pick the entity name so this represents the data structure that we're going to export so if I have a look through the list um, obviously it's alphabetical uh, fixed assets is under F so let's scroll down a little bit we'll find um, the fixed assets alright so um, so we've got fixed assets groups for example and if we have a look through the list will have fixed assets so uh, um, asset fixed asset entity is the entity name so I'm going to select that so at this point um, we can choose the refresh um, in this case it's a full uh, refresh now I could select um, specific fields auto report is a group of fields so there's only a limited number of fields or fields that I can import so non read only fields for example um, or M or all fields. If I pick all fields then I can say add entity and at which point then I'll see the entities here. So I could add additional entities but in this particular case I'm just going to export um, the fixed assets so there could be multiple entities that you export in a sequence for example. Um, if you want to have a look at the fields you can look at the view map. Um, this will give you a list of the fields uh, for example and you can also see those if you go to the entity. Now when we're ready we can hit the export button and what's going to happen in the background is that the uh, export is going to run and we'll see um, the uh, detail here. You'll see that it's saying it's executing or, uh, how many records are executed for example. So I'll just pause the video while this runs. In this case I'm going to wait for it to run. It's not going to take too long. Alright so if we have a look um, let's go back and see our entity. You'll see fixed assets for example. So um, if we scroll across to the right here you'll see the job history so you'll see for example um, the execution details in this particular case the fixed assets so 43, 43 records exp uh, exported so if I click on the little dot 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 you'll get the option to download the file so if I click on this then it's going to give me a text file so I'm going to save that text file now obviously this is coming down from uh, in this particular case coming down from the um, Azure down to your local machine because I'm saving it as a file here for example so if the export that you did was a really large file obviously that would take a while for the data to come down so this is the text file we'll see that it's the CSV uh, file details there for example so that's a really quick example of uh, exporting 
if we wanted to um, see what it did we can view the execution log so this will be the details if there was any error messages um, in, you'd see them here for example so if we close that down if that's something that you do um, often for example you can uh, find the export here and then you can run the project again for example um, so this will give you the ability to export again so you can get back to that so if that's something you're doing uh, often then you can e export again um, from uh, the list of data projects that you've created so that's a really quick look out of a, of a simple data export um, and you can find that underneath the data management uh, workspace.